Hello, my caterpillar friends. So happy to see you. Today is a special day. We're going to learn our last letter of the alphabet. We started at A and now we're at the very end and we're ready to learn letter Z. This is letter Z and Z makes the sound Z. Can you try that? Z. Letter Z. Are you ready to see some objects that begin with the Z sound? I have three today, okay? First is an animal. You might have seen this animal maybe in a zoo before. It's a zebra. Zebra. Then we have this. Now let me explain this. Are these lines straight? Nope. We call these lines zigzag. Can you say zigzag? Excellent. Like up and down and up and down and up and down. Zigzag. And our last z sounding object. This is a pouch, but this is called a... What's that? What did I just do? Zipper. Can you say zipper? Zipper. And we all have zippers on our winter coats, right? It's getting a little warm, so maybe not wearing our coats anymore, but usually they will have a zipper on them. Should we review one more time? The animal that starts with letter Z is a zebra. Zebras have stripes. These lines are not straight, but they're zigzag. Zigzag. Excellent, friends. And our last one, if we open and close this, it's called zip, zipper. Zipper. Excellent. Shall we sing a song that has letter Z sounds in it? This one, we need five fingers. Can you show me five fingers? And it's called Five Little Zebras at the Zoo. Zoo also starts with letter Z and the Z sound. Five little zebras at the zoo. The first one said, I need new shoes. The second one said, I do too. The third one said, my name is Sue. The fourth one said, it's nice to meet you. And the fifth one said, how do you do? Can you try that again with me? Let's see. How many fingers? One, two, three, four, five. Five fingers to show our five zebras at the zoo. Five little zebras at the zoo. The first one said, I need new shoes. The second one said, I do too. The third one said, my name is Sue. The fourth one said, it's nice to meet you. And the fifth one said, how do you do? Excellent, my friends. And finally, ready to hear a story that has letter Z? Letter Z sounds. Let's start. This book today is called Zootopia. Zootopia. And let's see if we could spot the Z right there. Letter Z for Zootopia. It's called Super Animals. Let's read about some of these super animals in Zootopia. Judy Hops is a bunny. Bunnies have great eyesight. Judy sees the city of Zootopia all around her. Judy hears the smallest sounds and this helps her do her job. Judy has strong legs. She can run fast and jump high. Her legs help her catch criminals. She helps out in Zootopia. Nick Wilde is a fox. Foxes run fast. Nick has a friend named Finnick. This is Finnick. 
And fox has that letter X sound at the end, right? We learned that a few weeks ago. Fennec is a fennec fox. Fennec foxes have big ears. Their ears help keep them cool. Fru-fru is a shrew. Shrews have a great sense of smell and style. Mr. Big is Fru-fru's dad. He has good hearing, but sometimes he does not listen. Flash is a sloth. To save energy, sloths move very, very slowly. Mr. Manchas is a jaguar. Jaguars have very sharp teeth for smiling. Chief Bogo is a Cape Buffalo. Cape Buffaloes are very strong and Bogo is Judy's boss. Bellwether is a sheep. Sheep have excellent memories. Bellwether uses her memory to help Nick and Judy solve a case. Nick has great night vision. He can see in the dark. Night vision helps Nick escape from dark places. He shows Judy which way to go. Mayor Lionheart is a lion. Lions have loud roars. They can be heard across Zootopia. And a male lion grows a big mane. That's the fur around his head. It's called a mane. All the animals in Zootopia are super. The end, letter Z, Zootopia. And one last review. This is what our letter Z looks like. And it sounds like this, z, z, okay? And some items that make that sound, start with that sound, zebra. Zigzag. And my favorite one, zipper. Excellent, my friends. Hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Letter Z, our final letter of the alphabet. And I can't wait to see you again next week, okay? Have a good day. Have a good weekend, everybody.